I was going down to get the paper, actually, and he came down here, and I told my husband, look, look. Becky Main says she I was about to go out and get the paper air. when she noticed a visitor outside. He came out here, and he was walking down here. That's when the Omaha public school teacher says the bobcat immediately noticed her presence. Her husband urged her to snap a photo before it ran off. And he says, what's the matter? And I said, look out the window. He goes, oh my gosh. And he was insistent, I get some pictures. She thinks the bobcat went back into the woods behind her home. Animal sightings aren't unusual in the neighborhood, from deer and raccoons to foxes and wild turkeys. Sunday's bobcat, however, was a first for Maine. He stopped dead in his tracks right here, and I put the camera up to take some pictures. He saw it, and he bounded back to where he came from. And Maine says while the cat startled her, she wouldn't mind another visit. Well, I definitely am not going to walk up to it and try to make friends. <laughs> I'll probably see if I can, you know, snap a picture. In Council Bluffs, Quinesia Fraser, KETV, Newswatch 7. Well, we checked with the Iowa DNR, and a representative says there are quite a few bobcats around this time of year. It's normal for them to be active during the day. They say use common sense, leave the animals alone, keep an eye on your small pets, too.